House of the Dragon Season 2 Top 5 Episodes as presented by me. Is my list correct? Yes. Is your list correct? Yes. But it's my video, so let's go. At number 5, I have the episode The Region in which we got to see both sides deal with seeing the dragons dance for the first time in a hundred years at Rook's Rest. As one king lay broken, we got to see the rise of the one-eyed prince. And also seeing the richest man in Westeros, Corlys Valerion, being lost in his grief only to be soothed once his granddaughter came to tell him, Hey, get your booty back in the high gear. We got a war to win. And the heir to the Iron Throne, Jaceris Valerion, flying around, making deals, putting his mother in the best possible position he can. Glorious. At number four, I have the queen who never was. When you look at the episode, I know a lot of us were disappointed at some of the endpoints of the storylines based on this being the season finale. But as a standalone episode by itself, I thought it was great. And the more we learn about HBO cutting two episodes because of maybe some financial reasons really puts a damper on things. Because why would you cut episodes from the franchise that's carrying your platform? At least we got to see Rhaenyra finally putting her foot down, getting the army, getting more people to her side, looking like she's ready to go. Wish we would have saw it, but sh she ready to go. We were truly seeing how all the pieces on the board are getting ready to be moved and put into position. At number three, I have the red sewing because who doesn't want to see more people on more dragons? The opening to this episode was great. Seeing Rhaenyra confront, was it Alan? Adam? Adam. It was Adam. On his newly claimed dragon, Sea Smoke, or the dragon claimed him. But we got to see him bend the knee and that sparked the idea of Rhaenyra. Which helped birth the idea of giving us one of the most magically violent episodes we got to see. And let's not forget we got to see Lord Oscar Tully all the way in the Riverlands assert himself as the big fish in that pond. If HBO can do anything, they can find an up and coming good child actor. Seeing King Aegon try to get himself back up at him again after he was brutally injured, it was something. It was something. At number two, I have Rhaenyra the Cruel. With blood and cheese just happening, we see why Sir Otto Hightower was the hand of the king. He knows how to turn these crazy situations into an advantage for his side. Unfortunately, everyone around him isn't as bright as him. These people came out to act this episode, people. Aegon with his monologue, check. Helena dealing with her grief, check. Eric and Ark in their iconic duel, check. And getting more of the small folk perspective between Hugh and his wife, Kat. Man, they, they were cooking. They were cooking. And at number one, you know I had to have it, the episode, The Red Dragon and the Gold. And we got the witness what so many of the folks must have forgotten that when the dragons dance, almost everyone loses. We got Damon tripping balls at Heron Hall. We got Corliss dealing with the fact that he does have illegitimate children from another relationship while he was married. And the unofficial hand of the queen mounting her dragon. This episode had me, boy. The, especially the last half. It had me. Oh, my gosh. But listen, if you made it this far, let me know what your top episode for the season was. And make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and that you follow your boy. And if you got it in you, you can buy me a coffee in the link in my bio. Well, through, through the link in my bio. Through the link in my bio. You know what? Have a good one.